Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I thank the Honourable Member for the, uh, the question. Uh, first, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, allow me to uh, thank and acknowledge all our uh, uh, humanitarian uh, uh, heroes, because today, Mr. Speaker, sir, is uh, uh, World uh, Humanitarian Day. And uh, World Humanitarian Day focuses on bringing together partners uh, from across the humanitarian system to advocate for the survival and the well-being and dignity of people affected by crisis, and of course for the safety and security of uh, aid workers. And uh, I wish to especially acknowledge uh, those from the medical and the non-medical field, uh, not only in government, but of course the civil society and the non-government organizations for, who have made the ultimate uh, sacrifice. And of course each day Fiji is uh, humbled uh, by their commitment and uh, encourage and again uh, a happy uh, World Humanitarian Day to all our humanitarian workers and uh, please keep up the, the good work. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, I need to uh, acknowledge the Honorable Prime Minister for his commitment to rural development in Fiji. Uh, that has been consistent from day one uh, under the biden Brahma government and of course the Fiji First government as well, ensuring that no one is left behind. And uh, we all agree that uh, rural development uh, over the years, particularly uh, during his term in leadership, uh, is unprecedented. And I wish to acknowledge uh, the Honorable Prime Minister for that commitment, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, at the outset, the Ministry of Rural and Maritime Development and Disaster Management is again grateful uh, for the allocation that we are given for the next financial year, uh, which uh, is uh, uh, equivalent to uh, what we also had uh, in the last uh, financial year, a two million allocation for community access, roads, footpaths and footbridges, and of course, a $1 million allocation uh, for self-help uh, uh, program. Uh, I wish to highlight uh, the, the implementation of these two uh, particular allocations that are given to the ministry, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, again, uh, government is committed to rural development as a key uh, national priority. And uh, may I... Um, I uh, quote the words of uh, the former Prime Minister, the uh, Ratu Sirka, Mrs. Mara, that the development of our rural areas is a solid measure of the progress of the nation. And um, as uh, our economy uh, got better, uh, there has been uh, a lot of uh, developments in rural Fiji. Uh, and of course, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, the Ministry of Rural and Maritime Development and Disaster Management is uh, fully aware that uh, investment in uh, rural in infrastructure is crucially important to foster Fiji's economic uh, development and uh, prosperity. Uh, very briefly, Mr. Speaker, sir, for the last financial year, uh, there were a total of 85 uh, CAF projects or the community access and uh, uh, access roads and uh, footpaths and uh, footbridges and a total of uh, 90 uh, self-help uh, projects. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the target that set was uh, lower, uh, 60 and 75 respectively, and I wish to acknowledge uh, the, the team, uh, P.S. Kolitangane and uh, the four divisional commissioners and the uh, DOs and the PAs for their hard work. Uh, and of course, then the Ministry of Economy as well uh, for providing the, uh, the funds that enabled us uh, to have more of what was initially uh, scheduled. Uh, so instead of the 60, there were 85 uh, CAF projects. And instead of the 75 uh, self-help projects, there were 90 in total, despite the challenging circumstances uh, that we are well uh, aware of. And uh, those uh, projects by division, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, 26 of the CAF projects uh, was to the Central Division uh, worth about uh, 4 million. Eastern Division, uh, we have about uh, 11 uh, CAF projects worth uh, 3.3 uh, uh, million. Sorry. Uh, 
Northern Division 23 uh, with about uh, 0 0.5 million and the Western Division 25 uh, CAF projects uh, with uh, 0 0.8 million. And of course for self-help projects, 30 in the West, sorry, in the Central Division with uh, 0 0.222. In uh, the Eastern Division with 0 0.3 million, Northern Division uh, 18 with 0 0.2 million and uh, 20 in the West uh, with uh, 0 0.3 million. I have a long list, Mr. Speaker, but I wouldn't bore the House uh, going through most of it. But uh, maybe just highlight a few uh, for CAF uh, projects particularly. Uh, uh, and this is on, uh, on uh, new access roads, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, and uh, rather settlement uh, access road in Lekutu in Boa, uh, in the Northern Division with uh, $45,533. Nandua Village Access Road in Wainunumbua, uh, again, Northern Division, uh, $16,126. Uh, Nukuilau Settlement Access Road in uh, Nekoro, Navosa, $32,260. Vewa Access Road, uh, this is in Naitibi Village in Seivura, uh, with uh, $26,087. Uh, Nasongo Community Access Road uh, in Venunganamosi, uh, $24,645. Wilboli Access Road. Uh, Winnebau Village and Deumba, 27,510. Monikau Community Access Road, sorry, Moninuku, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. This is in Nambukelebu, uh, Kandavu, uh, worth $48,700. And uh, Naikorokoro Community Access Road uh, in Sainima, uh, Kandavu, uh, worth $45,942. And uh, uh, those, we've just uh, decided to highlight the new access roads uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. That does not include the maintenance for some of the uh, rural access roads. Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, there were a lot of um, foot bridges and uh, foot, uh, footpaths as well. Uh, but let me say at this stage, Mr. Speaker, sir, because of the priorities and the needs, uh, we are uh, asking uh, stakeholders, particularly our communities, to bear with us because uh, we are allocating more of the funds for those communities that need roads as opposed to footpaths. Uh, we can come for footpaths later, but let's get the access first to those that need road access. Uh, but foot bridges is very, very important, Mr. Speaker, sir, particularly for the movement of women and uh, children uh, to the hospitals, market access. Uh, I remembered um, opening the foot bridge in Tobu Village the famous uh, Wabu Lek Lek, uh, that they uh, sing. Uh, what's the name of the group that... Uh, so, Wonganiwa, Mr. Speaker, sir. Nganjinganjine Sinitetewa. Wakandua. So, that was one of the uh, key pro, um, uh, projects under the uh, foot bridges, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Self-help. Um, about uh, $1 million uh, allocation. Uh, I'll just uh, uh, quote a few, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, with self-help, uh, it's for social and uh, uh, economic projects as well. And we are pleading as well with the stakeholders. Uh, we understand that there's a lot of uh, social projects, uh, but of course, uh, given uh, um, the times that we are in, uh, if we can also focus on uh, economic projects in what we call the income-generating projects, uh, and, of course, we liaise with, uh, very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture and all other stakeholders, whether it's a fish uh, pond or uh, beekeeping or even um, uh, those that uh, want to do uh, simple uh, uh, backyard uh, gardening or, or livestock farming. Uh, these are the income-generating projects, and uh, right now, majority of the income-generating uh, projects uh, particularly those in the maritime areas uh, for boat and engine because uh, it serves uh, uh, quite a few purposes, Mr. Speaker, sir. Um, one uh, thing that we noted, we know that uh, we have the Ministry of Communication and the others, but I think in some uh, communities the need for communication particularly so that we can uh, get access uh, in terms of services by government and of course the marketing of the products as well. Uh, there were two uh, VT set projects funded at the, under this allocation. One in uh, Nautobatu, uh, Watulele, 
sorry, now to put in the put in the in the Kumbia, Mr. Speaker, sir, and of course Narodibu in Mayau in Lao. Few evacuation centers, but retrofitting, Mr. Speaker, sir, not new evacuation centers because of the allocation. Nilo evacuation center, two cases that can rob it at a cost of eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Solo evacuation center in Wenonumbua, fifteen thousand four hundred and six dollars. Lingau evacuation center, Kia, Madwata. Uh, at a cost of $3,500. Winnibutu Evacuation Center um, in uh, Madwata at uh, $6,200. Wainaloka Evacuation Center uh, completion project at uh, also um, in, uh, in Obalau, Mr. Speaker, sir, at a cost of $10,840. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, if I may just quickly summarize, uh, overall, at least 21,000 Fijians benefited from the CAF and the self-help uh, projects uh, in our rural communities for the last financial year. And of course, there are multiple effects of such developments to the community. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, again, these achievements were made despite the multiple consequences faced from two tropical cyclones, Yasa and uh, Anna, and of course the COVID-19 uh, pand uh, pandemic, especially on restrictions in business uh, uh, operations. Uh, in some instances, uh, supplies, uh, affected us uh, very much, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, particularly uh, for the hardwares and those that provide the necessary uh, services uh, to our uh, rural communities, Mr. Speaker, sir. Let me just uh, uh, also add here, Mr. Speaker, sir, that uh, we are in the uh, dry season for Fiji uh, and as means the responsible to for uh, for disaster management uh, and the allocation also for emergency water is given to the ministry uh, every financial year. We have started cutting water now in the Western Division, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, we have uh, finished, uh, oh, sorry, completed uh, water cuts uh, in a few of, uh, of the communities in the, in the, in the Western Division, uh, particularly in Yasawa. Uh, Watulele and uh, Malolo, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, to summarize it uh, very quickly. And also, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, I also uh, wish to mention that um, I've stated already in this house, let's not only focus on the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, we are moving closer to November, uh, our cyclone season. And we hope that uh, we would be uh, easing off the burden on, on uh, COVID as we are approaching November. But the key message is preparation. Let's prepare. I've talked about crisis management uh, framework, Mr. Speaker, sir. Preparation, uh, prevention, response, and then uh, recovery. So we need to prepare well, and we need to look at prevention uh, uh, strategies, uh, and uh, we'll come to the response uh, and the recovery later. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you.